Crisis Remastered. That's a piece of shit! <laughs> I can't! <laughs> Crisis is a first-person shooter developed by Crytek and published by Electronic Arts for Microsoft Windows. It was released in 2007 as Crytek's previous game had been Far Cry. With marvelous graphical fidelity, superior physics, this game blew the minds of all the gamers that day. First-person shooter with customizable weapons, pausing the flow of time, having supernatural powers with your nano suit gave you abilities to turn invisible, it gave you speed, armor and strength with just a tap of a button. It had a massive arsenal of weapons for you to choose from. Everything from rifles, submachine guns, missile launchers, snipers, you name it. Everything even a Mr. Mr. Rambo would dream of using. You gain control over vehicles like Humvees and tanks. You, you could also tore through jungles, demolishing everything in your path. You could even shoot down trees, houses, and even dissect individual leaves on a palm tree. This was the new key on the block, the jam on your toast, the honey in your pot. Its graphical fidelity and superior game physics came at the cost of most PCs at that time struggling to even run it. Any dime you bought or dreamed of buying any PC hardware, it became synonymous with the question, can it run crisis? And that term probably remains a meme till the end of time. 2008 was the time of my financial bottom. I just finished high school, I was unemployed, broke-ass white guy, with the ocean to my knees. Without any output for my ambitions, meant that crisis flew past me like a commercial airline from Zimbabwe. My PC could barely run Oblivion with 15 frames per second. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. I could only see everyone else enjoy it, but I knew that there will be a time when I can finally dive into a role of this special forces soldier called Mr. Nomad. When the news hit in August 2020 that Crisis is going to get a remaster plus new generation consoles were almost here, I knew that this will be my time. Finally, I can fill my childhood's dream and get the hands on this 4K60 new generation magic. A little time flew past and I bought Crisis Remastered on 16th of February 2021 for my PS5 console. I eagerly sat down and felt that I was in a movie theater in 1993, seeing the beginning titles of Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And what followed that was a cluster of disappointment. First of all, when the introduction video kicked in, I couldn't believe that I was seeing a, a remaster. I mean, I mean, it looked something like it was done in 2015, what character models are concerned anyways. But, but, okay, okay, I, I'm not that juicy what comes to graphics. What matters is the gameplay, yeah? Sadly, this here is the epiphany of a horrible gameplay. Immediately upon encountering my first enemy, I noticed that the controls were horrible. Delayed aiming and, and the character movements made it impossible to hit any enemies. It, I mean, I, it literally was impossible. There still isn't any options to smooth out the weapon aim. Whoever designed this remaster is an imbecile. I am not in the favor of waterboarding, gas chambers and staking, but this game really made my beliefs very shaky. First person shooter's main idea is, is to make shooting fun. In Crisis Remastered it's appalling, almost impossible. I've played many 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 shooters in my years, but I've never encountered one where I would seriously consider quitting before the end of the first mission. I struggled through it, lowering the game difficulty and hoping that I was going to get used to this clunky shit. It didn't happen. I finished the game within 4 days, approximately. There were about 11 missions. I enjoyed the overall plot. The story itself was a bit boring. I really hated the underwater alien missions. Just shooting the unshootable dodgy aliens with aim controls from 1960s space module. I actually liked some missions, like the one on aircraft carrier, when aliens invade it and you need to disarm the nuclear reactor. This was nice, reminded me somewhat Chernobyl incident, but with aliens. Overall, this game left a foul taste in my mouth and angry emotions to frustrating controls. And considering that it was a remaster, this has to be the worst remaster I've ever played and experienced. It, 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 I mean, if this game was the game that released in 20, 20, 2007, I'm happy I missed it. I mean, it's just sad, to be honest. Why would anyone remaster a game if they can't improve on it? 
or fix the initial mistakes. I mean, that's the point of the remaster, I think, that you leave everything in, including the stupidity. But then, on the other hand, you shouldn't uh, expand on the graphics as well, because, you know, that's the initial uh, soul of the game, okay? So, if you do a remaster, you just re-release it. There's no point of remastering it anyways, especially if you don't do anything to fix it! And do you know what the funniest part is? That this game still doesn't run fluently on PCs with maximum settings. And that here is because of bad optimization, not the requirements. Appalling shitfest is this quick money grab, and don't buy it for the love of God, stay clear. You know what the horrible part is here now? I really wanted to buy Stronghold Warlords. Was it Warlords? Yeah, I think it was Warlords. Anyways, I just saw a review from this other guy, and uh, I'm, I'm thinking of keeping the money actually. I'm not going to waste it on this piece of shit that was released a couple of days ago. Anyways, 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 I give Crisis Remastered a 4 out of 10. And I hope that you at least enjoyed this review. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell, and if you dare, subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas, and thanks for watching. Till next time!